Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's me, Kai. Um, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, and of course I don't sleep like this, but you know, please forgive me. I'm, um, I woke up out of my sleep, um, as I do sometimes when I write things that to me are a bit compelling or, um, you know, shares a part of me or other people that I feel that, you know, I'm kind of, um, maybe have a little bit of, um, anxiousness about how it will be perceived. Um, sometimes what happens with me is I get these, um, words that come to me or sentences or, um, concepts or, um, whatever. I, I, I get them during these times of the night or morning, I should say. But right now I'm kind of like, I'm ecstatic. I have a new book, Abandoned Property, that's coming out. And the book is really, really um, in depth. It talks about a lot of different things that um, a lot of people have gone through. Um, maybe in, in the lesbian and um, gay community, but also there are are some, you know, heterosexual people or that come in, that are in the book also or in the beginning and they talk about goes through their life and, and how um, things happen to them or has transpired. But right now I'm just like um, waking up and I was sound asleep. No intentions of getting up, no intentions of like moving around or anything. Sound asleep and just was woken up. And then, you know, just kind of had a feeling of, um, I need to talk about, you know, what's going on and, and how I'm feeling, you know, after a period of time of trying to go back to sleep and I couldn't go back to sleep. But this kind of like puts me in the mind, and please don't mistake what, what I'm saying, but it kind of puts me in the mind of when, um, Jesus and the disciples were kind of like um, at the point where Jesus was about to be taken away and the disciples were sleeping and he had asked one of them or asked them basically to, to watch and wait with him because he had some anxiety about what he was getting ready to do. So not to say that, you know, I'm getting ready to be nailed to a cross or anything of that nature, but um I just believe that sometimes, you know, we put things out into the universe and, you know, we, we wait for them to come back and we hope that they don't come back to us void. And that's what I, I truly hope that with Abandoned Property, people will read the book and will see that everybody has a story. And the things that we tend to do sometimes in our adult life is because of things that have happened to us in our, um, you know, younger life. But... I just hope that everybody receives the book. Um, I'm quite sure that you know there will be some people who may not like it, but um, this is a work that I have to do. Um, I believe that God has put me on the planet to do what I'm doing. Um, I thought about at one point of uh, maybe changing my style of writing or um, changing what I'm doing, but I don't believe that that's what I'm supposed to do. I believe that I'm supposed to write the way that I write, grow in my writing, but I do believe that the format that I write in, it's supposed to be done that way. But um, I just want to kind of like just talk with you guys and and tell you don't forget to get abandoned property. It'll be out June 14th. Um, It'll be out um, on ebook, Amazon, Nook, Smashwords, and right now it looks like it might be out um, that same day for um, paperback as well. Um, but I'm going to still just say June 21st for the paperback. Um, I'll make sure that you guys get your copy. Um, it's very, it's, it's, it, this book was very in depth, and I wanted to really kind of like, show what happens to us and, and the things that happen in our lives. I want everybody to really be patient with me in my writing because I'm going somewhere. Um, you know, for those of who who aren't into, um, you know, I don't know if I want to say, you know, sex or, or whatever. 
however the case may be. Some people are, are put off by certain things. Don't let that deter you from reading the book because I'm sure that there are things that you'll be able to get out of the book. So make sure that you, you get it and you read it. You know, there there's messages that are in, in the book. I always try and put messages in my books. I want people to really take a look at themselves, not anybody else, but to take, you know, take a look at themselves and things that maybe they can do differently. And maybe sometimes, yeah, to look at other people, but to look at them in a way that, okay, I get it. Maybe something has happened to you in your past, or maybe I can understand you a little bit better because I read this book or whatever the case may be. But I'm hoping for a change within, within ourselves and how we look at other people and how we look at ourselves. But I just hope that, you know, um, most of the people who read the book will just be really, you know, ecstatic and that they'll love it more than they love 30 Day Notice. Um, I tried to make sure that things that I didn't put in 30 Day Notice that I did do in um, abandoned property to give you more detail and history of these people because what's going to happen in future books it's going to be awesome. So if you love my writing, you're a fan of my writing, make sure that you get these books because in the future books will really be, right now I'm laying down the foundation for the future books. So make sure you get your copy. Thanks.